All right, so we've got a, a few more circular features up here, and I think what I'll do is probably something like this. We'll see if that's enough detail for it. And we still have the symmetry on, which is good. So we're going to need to get it talking over here to this geometry. I'm just kind of experimenting, like oftentimes I will lay points down and then take a look at it and, and uh, make some changes if I don't like something about the edge flow or whatever. So we need to have enough geometry in the low poly to support these features but we don't want to go crazy with it. And most of the snipe doesn't really have a whole lot going on. So we could probably start terminating those edge loops out here. And by terminating the edge loop, I mean just adding a little triangle where appropriate. So you can see I'm kind of grabbing every other one here. This face and this face are describing the change in the silhouette. So we want to make sure that we've got that stuff there. Let's scoot some of this around, even it out a little bit. So you can see, like, I've got all these edges around the circle, the support circle, but then as soon as I get out here, I'm looking for a, a lower frequency of geometry. I don't know if frequency is the right word, but a lower density. And pretty quickly, we can probably come out here and start collapsing this stuff down. So one of the rules of thumb of, of retop is you don't really want to have two triangles terminating at the same point. So that's kind of why I'm offsetting these. Just potentially run into some baking issues. And there isn't anything along here that I'm really worried about in terms of, like I don't really need to have this extra edge there. Uh, except to have a way to reduce the, the polygons from what's required for the circle to what's actually required for this the knife. But I definitely don't need a third loop. So I'm going to just bring all this stuff down. Kind of like that. So you can see how we're reducing out as we go. And all of this is, of course, subject to uh, review after the bake, as it may turn out that for one reason or another, there's something that we need to either add more. Typically, it's going to be adding more polygons to support features if you get bakes, or uh, if you get errors in the bakes. You can see once we get away from the from the circular stuff, really the only the only detail that we're trying to support now is the the curvature on the edge. Which is pretty easy. And you'll notice I haven't done the middle part. I think I'm just gonna wait till the end and just do a, a simple bridge operation. And it's it's basically just a uh one shot deal. So rather than doing it before I'm done here, I'll just wait till the end. And that way I don't have to support it if I decide to make any changes to like the number of edges this way. I 
you just want to make sure that you're capturing that stuff as closely as possible and then I don't know probably something like that's a little bit we'll have to see there may be some issues might also just be easier to leave it like this that quad is okay that's an, that's an all right scenario there so we don't have any triangles again I'm just kind of worried about having triangles where there are changes in the silhouette like big changes in the silhouette triangles can can generate errors in the bakes and now I'm just trying to make sure that stuff is as as even as possible so we have that's kind of strange that may generate an error so what I think I'm going to do is change the surround just a little bit I'm going to tap the W key just to go into move mode which will basically break us out of quad draw go back to object reactivate quad draw scoot this stuff like that and then I'm just going to put a point here so I have two nice clean quads coming down and that's probably going to give us a, a little bit of a better result so you can see I have a nice clean organized regular quaddy section out there and that should be okay we may need another edge loop in here to capture that curvature but I'll wait a minute see kind of what's going on so again it's probably going to be we'll be looking at it from a little bit of a distance although with pieces like this Let's see, I kind of want to terminate these. So we're going to take a little chance on that and see if it still works. And then even though we can't really see this area back here very well, I think it's mostly obscured. I'll support it with an edge loop or, or with a, a beveled area there. And now I'm just going to do the same thing that I did on the other side. Collapse these where I can. Because there just isn't any geometry out here that I need to, I need all this extra stuff floating around for. Whoops. So if I do something like this, this is basically like the cheapest way I can do it. And then I just have to figure out a way to terminate all the stuff up here. So I'm probably going to have to add an ed edge loop in here. And I'm just holding control to do that. And then I can just go ahead and terminate those. Fill them in. All right, let's go ahead and um, we'll tap. Oh, I've got to go to turn off Quadra. Uh, on a PC, tap the F8 key. And then I'm going to hide the blade. And here we can see there's our retopology. And it looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and grab the outside edges. And we can just do a bridge. And then I'm going to add a, a center line because I need to do a little bit more work down here. So we can just connect or we can select the, uh, the ring there by grabbing one of those edges and then holding shift and double clicking on the next one up and it'll go ahead and grab the ring. And then we can just go to connect. We want to make sure though with connect that we have insert with edge flow disabled. So that's all looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and do the same thing here. Go ahead and do a bridge. And then uh, in the next video, I'm just going to modify these verts down here and the blade will be fully retopologized and we'll move on to the next piece.